Hey guys, today we are standing outside of a duplex that we just bought last week. The address is 6635 Marmaduke. We bought this property to burr it, and the goal would be to use none of our own money and to be all into this project for zero dollars out of pocket in the end. Hey guys, today we are standing outside of a duplex that we just bought last week. The address is 6635 Marmaduke. We bought this property to burr it. So we're gonna buy it, rehab it, rent it, refinance it after we get it rehabbed and rented. And the goal would be to use none of our own money and to be all into this project for zero dollars out of pocket in the end. So we borrowed the money to buy it and we borrowed the money to rehab it. So again, we just closed on this last week and I wanted to do a quick walkthrough today because we have our clean out guys here actually on site and I believe we might even have our HVAC guy here today as well too. But we're cleaning this project out today. So we're removing all of the belongings that were left behind and we're actually having to gut some of the kitchen on this right side unit because there was some roofing issues that leaked into the unit and the ceiling and the wall in the kitchen were just covered with mold and it was just nasty and disgusting. They also smoked in this right side unit and it appeared to me that they lived there for quite some time, probably close to 10 years, give or take. But the property's vacant, we've started the clean out and I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough today to update you all on how this property and this project is progressing. Let's start on the left side, do a quick little walkthrough. Um, See, so as, as you can see here, I mean, we still have stuff. The guys are here cleaning it out today. So, and they've been here for, I think, two days already. So, since the original video, which you can find on my YouTube, this place was just filled with stuff. And uh, we were here, was it last week, Holly, when we were here? Or last week? So since then, they've started removing all of the stuff in the unit, which is awesome. We're gonna have to, mm, that stinks. We're gonna have to do a gut rehab on this property. Maybe not gut, but gut the bathroom in the kitchen. So it's coming along. Turn the water back on. Gotcha, the water's And then I gotta cut the pipe off across there. Yeah. Awesome. So they're doing a good job of gutting it. Where are you guys hauling everything to? The back? Yeah. Oh, that's the dumpster that we got right yeah. back there. And then you guys were using the truck prior to that, weren't you? Yeah. The trailer? Okay, cool. Dumpster definitely helps. Oh, yeah. Are we going to need a second dumpster, you think? This is, this is the second. That's the second dumpster this already? The second dumpster. Are we going to need a third one, do you think? Oh, we thought about maybe a smaller one. Okay. Maybe a 20 yarder? I'm going to take a lot of this wood out to my house and burn it because that'll save some money. Okay, awesome. So we're going to do that. <coughs> all right. And then I got all these ripped out. I got this as the last cabinet to rip out. Nice. Okay. It's looking good. The basement in this one yet? Yeah, now we're going to go down there now. Let's check it out. So this is already, we're already working on the second dumpster. Wow. And you know, I figured it would be probably about three because they took a couple loads uh, with their dump trailer before we actually had the dumpsters delivered. So you can see that they've cleaned out a lot of this already as well. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm good. Awesome. You work with Jason? I do. All right. All right. All right. So we got a brand new HVAC going in today. Are you doing a condenser as well? Yes. All right. So this is a Guardian HVAC. Man, they make these things small now. Yes, they do. These things are compact. It looks good. So our furnace is down below. Here is our A coil up on top. And here's the line set that will go outside to the condenser. And he is installing these today, which is awesome. I'd imagine that we'll replace the water heater. If it works, we may just keep it because this is a rental. But obviously, as a burr, we like to try to do as much of the uh, capital expenditures in advance. You know, having to replace a water heater two or three years from now is gonna cost us 800 bucks. So if we can just do it today and, and now, before we get this thing rented and refinanced, ideally we won't have to mess with that for you know 20 years, give or take. So all in all, the left side unit is coming along clean out is still underway and while that we're cleaning this out we already got a guy out here doing our HVAC work which is cool time is money so when you're doing these projects you don't want to 
you know, push these things out for weeks and or months, if you can do two or three of the things at the same time, it's gonna speed the project up. All right, let's go over to our other unit. This is the left side unit. And sometimes these duplexes, they will have like unit one and unit two. This one actually has different addresses, which is a little strange that they do it that way, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So we're just gonna come right across the way here. Watch your step. And again, they're still cleaning stuff out. So that should hopefully be done by this afternoon. And this one, you guys aren't gonna be able to smell via my camera, but I can assure you that this place stinks. It smells like an ashtray. The guy that was living here was a smoker and we're gonna have to paint everything. And we just ordered an ozone machine off of Amazon, which we'll let run in here for about a week. And that should help you know, clean and, and deodorize and offset a lot of the smell. But we're gonna have to paint everything and clean these floors up to get rid of that smoke smell. Again, this bathroom is just like the one next door. It's a lot more filthy than the one next door, but we are going to have to gut this bathroom down, probably to the studs. It's pretty nasty and redo that, but that's okay. As you can see here, they've already started gutting behind the cabinets where there's the brick and all of the ceiling here is plaster and it's got water damage from that leaky roof. We can peek out the back door here real quick and hello. You can see that we have a big 40 yard dumpster that's actually dumpster number two. And then the red truck with the dump trailer behind it is our crew's dump trailer. So having the big dumpster here is gonna be a lot more beneficial, a lot more efficient, a lot more effective to speed up the clean out process. So again, what these guys are doing here is they're taking all this metal scrap and they're throwing it on their dump trailer. They're not putting it in the big dumpster, which ends up in a landfill. They're putting it in their dumpster so they can take it to the scrap yard and they may get 100 or 200 or 300 bucks, you know, nothing crazy, but that helps with uh, reducing the, the amount of waste in the dumpster. And it also helps offset some of their gas and fuel costs by being able to, you know, get some money for that metal. We don't want it. We just let them take it and you know, it's a little bit of bonus, a little icing on the cake for them. All right, let's check out the basement. I would imagine that the basement, this is just a little closet here, isn't it? Nice. Oh yeah, there was a picture on the wall, used to be. And again, there is a little bit of damage to these walls in here, but because this is minor, what I would imagine we'll do is we'll cut some of this out and we'll just replaster it and then paint it versus having to gut this entire room just from some crack. All right, basement is this way. Let's check out our basement and it still has a good amount of stuff in here, but man, this one was actually packed full. So they probably removed 60 to 70%. It's always interesting whenever you're buying houses as is, because you just, you come across all these, you know, random old relics. Like these things probably have some value. Maybe, you never know, kind of cool. But, oh, another one here too. We are having our HVAC guy replace this one too. He's already out here. So we're gonna have him do both of these. He's already removed the old one. He's working on the one next door. Once he finishes that, then we'll have him come over and work on this one. We'll probably get both of these installed today. Those don't take too long. And we have another little area of the basement back here. And here's another cool thing that uh, we always offer to our clean out crew. You know, A, if they wanna take this, the, the metal and not put it in the dumpster and take it to the scrapyard, all the power to them. We love that. We encourage that because again, it offsets some of their fuel costs, but it also reduces things ending up in the landfill. Additionally, if our guys are cleaning out the property and they find stuff like this, this is a little air compressor. It looks like it's in pretty good shape and there's really no reason to throw this in the dumpster, especially if it works. So oftentimes they can find things that they can either take and they can use, or maybe even take, and, you know, take it to a pawn shop or a, um, a store that will buy used equipment and they can actually you know, earn a little bit of extra money by taking that stuff as well versus putting everything in a dumpster. It's really, really inefficient to do that. Now there's a lot of stuff that all you can do with it is put it into a dumpster, but sometimes you can find some, I like to call them treasures, and those treasures can have value. Oh, there is a lot of spiders in this one. So we're not gonna go back in here, but there's just a bunch more junk in there anyway. So all in all, this is just kind of the second video that I wanted to do. I wanna start documenting more and more of the progress 
of the rehabs, the fix and flips, and the rental burrs. And the goal again would be to have zero money out of pocket. So we borrowed the money to buy it. We borrowed the money to rehab it from a private lender. So we're in the process now of cleaning it out. And we've started the rehab by installing some HVACs. We're gonna do water heaters. We're gonna do kitchens. We're gonna do baths. We're gonna do windows. We're gonna do a roof. We're gonna do flooring. And we will do some electrical fixtures like ceiling fans and lights, new kitchens. So I mean, the, the budget over here, I think was about 75, maybe 80,000 in rehab. So it's a good amount, but there's two units. So it cuts that down quite a bit per unit. And that's really a wrap today, guys and girls. This is one weekend to the Marmaduke property. I will be back here every week or two to update you all on the progress of this burr. Thanks for watching. And don't forget guys, you can learn more and there's a ton of free resources over on our website, discountpropertyinvestor.com. Check it out. Thank mm -hmm. you.